Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Thanks for taking a moment to start your day off in Scripture. You remember that the chief priests and elders and scribes have come together to put Jesus on trial. What's their motive? Well, you have to go to verse 55. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. In other words, their whole purpose is not to determine guilt or innocence here. They're just trying to figure out a way to get rid of Jesus. They're breaking every one of their own laws. The Sanhedrin is not allowed to meet at night. They're not allowed to pass judgment at night. They're not allowed to then begin the process of capital punishment at night. And, and their witnesses have to agree none of these things are happening here. Listen, for many bore false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. And some stood up and bore false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another that is not made with hands, which isn't exactly what Jesus said at all. He wasn't talking about that. He was talking about his own body. Yet even about this, their own testimony did not agree. And the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? But he remained silent and made no answer. He knew what they were up to, and it didn't matter what he said. Again, the high priest asked him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? In fact, if you read the other gospel accounts, he put him under oath where Jesus had to answer. And Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. The high priest then tore his garments and said, What further witnesses do we need? They didn't have any witnesses until then. You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? And they all condemned him as deserving death. And some began to spit on him and to cover his face and to strike him, saying, Prophesy. And the guards received him with blows. What was it that convicted Jesus? The fact that he is the Son of God. The truth that he is the Son of God is what they convicted him on. He is the Son of God. Thank you for watching.